السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں ہوں محمد اکبر اور یہ ہے میرا یوٹیوب چینل اکبر نالج ہاؤس ٹوڈے از مائی ٹاپک از انسیڈنٹ کمانڈ سسٹم اینڈ ایمرجنسی رسپانس لیولس فسٹ آف آل واٹ از انسیڈنٹ کمانڈ سسٹم اے فلیکسیبل سسٹم فار مینیجنگ پیپل اینڈ ریسورسز از کالڈ انسیڈنٹ کمانڈ سسٹم واٹ آر دا میجر مینجمنٹ ایکٹیویٹیز آف انسیڈنٹ کمانڈ سسٹم انسیڈنٹ کمانڈ سسٹم از کنٹینڈ آن فائیو پریمائسز فرسٹ آف آل کمانڈ سیکشن سیکنڈ آپریشن سیکشن تھرڈ لاجسٹک سیکشن فور پلاننگ سیکشن فائیو فائنانس سیکشن کمانڈ سیکشن سیفٹی پی آئی او از بیسڈ آن فور تھنگس آپریشنس پلاننگس لاجسٹکس اینڈ فائنانس انسیڈنٹ کمانڈر Incident commander is the person in charge at the incident who must be fully qualified to manage the incident. Sole function of the incident commander to manage the incident by assigning tactical resources and overseeing operations, delegating authorities to other as required. Incident command post. Incident command post is the location from which the ICS oversees all incident operations. Role of safety officer. There is saying that safety is everybody's responsibility. Safety is everybody's responsibility. Disaster scope. Disaster are two types. natural and man made natural and man made it it is based on art and sciences it is based on predictions for example laws of nature laws of nature and measurements and heuristic models and computers post prevention control and crisis management emergency response levels there are three emergency response levels for our fire incidents first of all level 1 standard fire response level 2 fire emergency level 3 major fire emergency level 1 standard fire response for every fire call two vehicles ideally one rapid response fire vehicle and one standard fire vehicle or fire truck and one ambulance incident commander shift in charge may be here is the incident commander is shift in charge station coordinator and rescue safety officer sector commander fire rescuer shift in charge minimum level 2 fire emergency requiring backup or additional sources additional resources incident commander rescue safety officer or emergency officer sector commander who will be the sector commander si sc or rso level 3 major fire emergency required multi agency response control room shall immediately inform district emergency officer deo eo rso cri provincial monitoring cell and all concerned agencies like dco office police 
Vasa, Vabda, Sui Gas, Hospitals, etc. All officers shall report to the incident site, CRI, to the control room and store in charge to the district headquarter. Incident commander. Incident commander will be the district emergency officer or district in charge. Operational commander. Emergency officer, sector commander, RSO, SC. The district management shall ensure abundant supply of spare SCBA or self-contained breathing operator sets, SCBA cylinders, foam drums, canes, drinking water, food provision, etc. at the incident site. Specialized teams shall perform their designated tasks at the site. Fire incident reporting FIR form shall be positively incident site at every fire case. Following shall be determined at every incident site irrespective of the severity, extent or level of the incident by incident commanders. Operational duties or responsibilities. The main task at a fire ground shall be accomplished as incident commander the incident commander shall perform the following task established the incident commander post isolation of utilities electricity like gas etc commander are commanding the incident complete documentation of the proceedings at incident site division of the fire ground in sectors as per situation or the extent of fire. Management and optimum utilization of all available resources, human and material assessment and requiring backup resources as per situation. Ensuring safe working practices at fire ground and safety of general public as well. Liaison with other agencies and departments at or off the fire scene. Deployment and rotation of shifts and human resource, prompt and authentic two-way communication, scene size up and risk assessment. Sector in charge. Each sector in charge shall be responsible for all operational activities in his specific sector he shall be performing the task of incident commander in his respective sector. Fire rescuers. Fire rescuers shall perform planned and aggressive firefighting, aggressive firefighting safely with complete personal protective equipment or PPE, including fire turnout gear, safety shoes, helmets, flash hood, gloves, fireman X. Google, SCB, etc. Dirt rescuers shall perform search and rescue operation wearing fire turnout gear with all necessary rescue equipments including complete height rescue equipments. Emergency medical techniques. EMTs, emergency medical technicians shall remain alert and active with medical bags, folding stretchers and jumping Shields to rescue the victims from height and provide emergency medical care at incident place. SOPs for major fire incidents or operations. Confined space entry. A confined space entry shall be made to search and extricate the entrapped victims. Firefighting. The entry shall be monitored by at least one member of fire crew any rescue official entry supervisor who shall record the procedure along with ensuring care and backup support entry shall be made following buddy system backup entry teams and spare cylinders shall be made available prior to any entry no entries shall be made without complete turnout gear, appropriate PPE, search lights, etc. 
सेक्टराइजेशन द फायर ग्राउंड शेल बी डील इन सेक्टर्स एज पर कंडीशन ऑफ द फायर एंड एरिया ऑन फायर ईच सेक्टर शेल बी रेकमेंडेड बाय एन ऑफिसर और ऑफिशल एज पर अवेलेबल ह्यूमन सोर्स ईच सेक्टर इन चार्ज शेल कम्प्लीट द फायर इंसिडेंट रिपोर्टिंग फॉर्म ऑफ इज रिस्पेक्टिव सेक्टर स्ट्रेटजीज द फॉलोइंग स्ट्रेटजीज मे बी अडोप्टेड एज पर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द फायर ग्राउंड एंड कंडीशन ऑफेंसिव फायर फाइटिंग वेयर द कंडीशन परमिट टू डिप्लॉय द रिसोर्स इन साइड द इनर कॉर्डन एरिया डिफेंसिव फायर फाइटिंग if the resources can only be utilized outside the inner cordon area due to fire hazards transitional mode a combined approach of offensive and defensive mode of fire fighting as per conditions importance of report writing of fire incidents documentation is extremely important and may be legally required a proper completed written report provides all the pertinent facts in logical order a written report prepared at the scene of a fire incident may be used as an official record your report may become evidence in the court proceeding thank you so much for watching my video take care allah hafiz